Quarterback Jack Salopak joins us. Jack, career high 252 yards and three touchdowns on Saturday, but you started it off with the big flea flicker to Corey Crooms. Well, tell me how that kind of came about and was that the plan from the beginning for that to be the first play? Yeah, it was. It, uh, we came with that on Wednesday or midweek, something like that. And, you know, there was one look that if they gave us a certain look, we had to check out of it. So I was hoping all week that they didn't give us that look, and luckily they didn't. So I was able to motion Corey over, run the flea flicker, and Corey did a great job, sounding like he was blocking and then running down the hash. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody that wide open before, so it was nice to start the game like that. It looked like there was a little bit of a, a bobble situation initially, but you guys recovered. Were you a little bit nervous? Like, oh, this might not work after all. Yeah, so when I handed off to Sean, something happened, and he bobbled a little bit. So when I was standing back there, I was getting a little nervous that, you know, he wasn't going to be able to hold on to it or something like that. So it took a little longer than we anticipated, but it worked out in the end. And like you said, Corey was so open, you couldn't help but hit him. Yeah, absolutely. You know, honestly, that's a hard throw as a quarterback. It's harder than you think when a guy is that wide open. You don't know if you want to throw it hard or lay it up there, but you know, I was just happy it worked. You missed the, the San Jose State game with injury, but it seemed like the offense got back to, to clicking on all cylinders. How do you guys kind of feel like your development is now that you're back and healthy and the guys are, in general, seem to be more, a little bit more comfortable in this offense? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of guys were frustrated, understandably so, uh, from the San Jose State game. And you know, coming back this week and having the success we did, I think gives us confidence going in the MAC play, which is what we needed. Got tight end Josh Berg had a touchdown as well. His first as a Bronco. Just how do, how do you feel as a quarterback trying to get you know everybody involved, but knowing that there are certain times where you know certain guys are going to get more looks than others. Yeah, you know, honestly, there's not one guy that I pick like, hey, I'm throwing this guy the ball every play. So just whoever's open is going to get the ball. And you know, Josh did a great job. You know, he doesn't get a lot of touches. He's you know heavy in the blocking game and things like that. But I know anytime he is running a route, that you know he'll be open for me and make the catch. As you take a look at the rest of the schedules, you know, Mid American Conference play from from here on out. How do you kind of feel? You guys are are going as you get uh, as you get prepared to just kind of get in the teeth of your schedule here. Yeah, we just got to take it, you know, one week, one game at a time uh, mentality. If you get, if you look too far ahead, you know, you'll get off track on the game you're currently focused on. So this week's all about Eastern Michigan, and we'll worry about the next team after this game. Well, congrats on a great Saturday against uh, New Hampshire. Big win for the Broncos, and thanks for the time, Jack. Yep, absolutely. Thanks. All right, joined by tight end Josh Burgett. Josh, first off, you guys got the offense going a little bit on Saturday against New Hampshire. It seemed like you guys are starting to click a little bit together as a unit. What have you kind of seen from that standpoint? Yeah, I mean, we're definitely clicking a lot better as a unit. I think that comes credit to our practice. You know, we've really been dialed in on our practice and our technique these past few weeks. And I like to think that, that the result is that is shown on the field right now. You got your first touchdown as a Bronco. Just kind of take me through that play and then the, the excitement afterwards of, of getting that one uh, out of the way. Uh, it was interesting, you know, at the beginning of the week, I was originally on the protection for that play, and then halfway through the week, we put me on a route, and I, you know, I just got in Sal's vision, and thankfully he found me. You know, it's a, it's a good touchdown for the whole room. I don't like to take credit as an individual, so it was good to have my fellow tight ends out there to celebrate with me as well. Do you know what changed to, to make you running a route instead of being a part of the protection? That, that was in the coaches' meetings. That was their decision. I don't, I don't make any of those decisions. Well, excited to be a, a beneficiary, though, of that decision, though, right? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. I will take anything I can get out there, so definitely. As you guys look ahead to Eastern Michigan this weekend and then, you know, Mid-American Conference as a, as a whole the rest of the way, how do you guys kind of feel like you need to develop and continue to get better as, you know, you get in the teeth of your conference schedule? Yeah, I mean, really our focus is on our technique right now. It's where we, where we need to step up right now and dial in on that aspect because, you know, I think we're just as talented as any team in this conference, so if we can handle our techniques, you know, I think we've got a good shot at this and keep up with our physicality. And, I mean, the Mid-American Conference is a great conference. It's anybody's league, so we just got to stay focused on us. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, and congrats on that first touchdown as a Bronco. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Joined by defensive back Kenai Lovely. Kenai, you guys played a great game defensively on Saturday against New Hampshire. Just kind of take me through the, the game plan and what worked for you guys against the Wildcats. Um, pretty much any game plan we put up for the week, as long as we be us, I feel like um, anybody we face will be all right. So as long as we just go out there and do us, the game plan really don't matter. Let's we go out there, execute, play fast, and be us, then we'll be good. You guys got Defensive touchdown, not you specifically, but just kind of how does it feel to get a defensive touchdown when you guys have been working so hard and, and playing as well as you guys did on Saturday? You know, it always feels good. You know, offense always put up the points, but, you know, it always feels good for the defense to finally get one. So I'm just, I'm just so happy when we was running down the field, just smiling like, man, we finally got us one on the board. Yes, sir. This is your first year as a starter. Just kind of how do you feel like settling into your role as a starting cornerback opposite Dorian Jackson? Um, it's feeling good. Each week getting better by better. Uh, just keep growing. Um, you know, take full um, action on my responsibilities and opportunity, and just keep going. As you guys get ready to, you know, face MAC opponents from here on out, Eastern Michigan this week. How do you guys feel as a defense? You guys are kind of coming together as a unit. 
Uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, you know, the longer you get with each other, the more you guys grow. So I feel like the more we continue to play football, continue to practice hard with each other and communicate, I feel like we just disguise the limit. Finally, is there any any one thing that you guys feel like as a unit you're kind of really focusing on as you try to get better as the season wears on here? Um, I just say communication. As long as we out there talking, we'll be fine. Can I love you? Thanks for the time. Thank you. Defensive lineman Marshawn Nealon joins us. First off, Marshawn, let's just talk about you coming back from missing a couple games due to injury, just kind of how it felt to get back out there uh, with the guys. It felt great being able to go out there with all my dogs and being able to just play fast, play hard. It felt great. You guys kind of had a, a little bit of rash of injuries a little bit. Coach Esposito was saying earlier here at practice today that it's kind of the first time that you guys have been all together and healthy since spring ball, so that kind of – lets you guys do your your natural stuff it's lot in your natural positions and things like that mm -hmm. I think it was a, a big thing with Fist having to jump out and we just weren't as strong interior wise because we had to play a lot of cash and three man down um, but now should we be able to go back to uh, four man and being able to just rush off base and still be able to blitz and have everybody come down you guys certainly uh, showed what you guys can do when you're back all collectively as a unit. You guys certainly ate quite a bit on Saturday. I think seven sacks total. There's kind of when everyone's gonna get involved, you're getting sacks and tackles for loss. It's kind of how it feels to you know everybody's getting a little bit in there. Oh yeah, it feels great. Is having all of us energetic, all of us being able to be back out there. My dogs that we worked in the off season with, being able to just show what we worked on and be on the field with it, it just feels great, amazing. As you take a look at the rest of the. The schedule is, you know, it's MAC teams from, from here on out, starting with Eastern Michigan this week. How do you guys feel like you can kind of improve collectively? And obviously being healthy is one thing, but, but also just generally speaking, how do you guys want to try and improve as the season wears on here? I mean, as we improve, we just got to continue to lock in our details and minimize the small mistakes and getting out of gaps or getting bumped out. Or we just got to be able to play fast and physical. Taking a look. At this week's opponent, Eastern Michigan, just how do you guys feel about, you know, the in-state rivalry team and you know, kind of get revenge you guys have kind of struggled against in the last couple of years? Yeah, it feels good to be able to uh, play them again and be able to show the differences that I made in growing wise, be able to play with, against them three years in a row. And now going on fourth, uh, I'm just glad to be able to come back out there. All right, Marshawn Nealon, great game on Saturday. Six tackles, including a couple of TFLs. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it.